हे मेकर्स दिस इज रुवीन एंड वेलकम टू पावर एप्स मॉडल ड्रिवन एप स्टेप बाय स्टेप सीरीज यू आर वॉचिंग सेवेंथ एपिसोड ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज बिजनेस रूल इन पावर एप्स मॉडल ड्रिवन एप एंड हाउ इट इज यूजफुल इन टू योर रियल लाइफ बिजनेस सीनारियो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वॉट हैपन हियर इज when we want to show and hide some columns conditionally or let's say you wanted to perform some calculations or wanted to set some default value for your fields at the time you can use the business rules in model driven app we will talk more about this thing throughout this entire session one more important announcement i launched my own instagram page where i am uploading different short tips and tricks related power platform So if you wanted to be a part of my Instagram family do follow me on my Instagram the Instagram ID is available here or here or maybe in the description box so do check it out also as you are watching the 7th episode of this series and if you wanted to go through the entire playlist as well as the past and future video of the same model driven app series check the description box for more information in future as well if i am extending this series i will provide all the latest link in the description box so check out the description box always for the latest information so without wasting much time let's get started and talk more about business rules in model driven app but before that here is an intro here i am on my machine and in this session we will be talking about business rules in model driven power apps so let's get started and talk more about that thing in detail with me as you all know in our earlier sessions we have created one solution called employee onboarding process and we have created one table called employee onboarding once we open up that table and filter by custom fields here you can see the two different field called employee type and leave balance means number of leaves at the time i have talked to you that sometimes we have a situation that you need to fill the number of leaves in automated way based on the selection of employee type if employee type is full time employee the number of leaves should be 24 else number of leaves should be 12 so how can we achieve this kind of requirement in model driven app for that we have a concept called business rules so let's talk more about that thing in detail so whenever you open up your entity there is an option called business rules just click on that and now let's create our first business rule so i'm clicking here and that will open up new window for me to create the business rule so here you can see that this is the canvas interface where you can define your different conditions then there is an option to give the name for your business rule so now let me just give my business rule name as set employee leaves here you can provide the description and here you can define the condition right so let's see and over here there are different components and properties now what do we mean by component over here now with this business process rules how many things you can achieve you will get that thing over here like you can lock and unlock your fields you can show error message you can set the field value you can set the default value you can set the business required field and you can set the visibility so these are the different thing that you can achieve with the help of business rules now over here my requirement is something where i need to set the field value so here i will select set field value action over here sometimes you have scenario where you need to set the visibility of field like let's say if business unit is a uh, time and material then you wanted to show some field to be visible and some field to invisible so you can choose set visibility field property at that time right now let's see how we can apply the condition over here so if i compare the similar thing with the canvas app 
uh, like in canvas app if you wanted to make some field disable or if you wanted to show and hide some fields you are typing some formula in the formula bar so similar kind of thing you can do here in canvas app as well uh, like let's say if you want to calculate number of leaves uh, with respect to other fields you are just writing your power fx formula similar thing you are doing here with the help of business rules so hope you get a clear idea that what is business rule in model driven app so this is something like conditionally you wanted to do some specific thing with your database column or dataverse column you can achieve that with the help of business rule here we are not going into more depth about each individual action of course in upcoming sessions or in future sessions we will cover everything but here let's go with our business statement that i want to set the value of number of leaves based on the condition so how can i do that so let's go with that so just click on your condition statement and now here basically first of all we need to select our source so our source is entity entity means table but still here it is referring the old term so let's have it on which field basis you want to change the value so basically my value should be employee type so if employee type equals to which value if employee types equal to full time employee then what i want to do here is let's see then this is the true case and this is the false case so let's click on apply first and now let's click here go to the component and set the field value if employee type is full time employee then i want to set the field which is number of leave balance number of leaves value i want to set how much value should it be 24 let's set that click apply else the number of leave should be 12 so let's go to the component again and just click on set field value drag it to here if it is false then the value should be 12 so let's select leaves number of leaves should be 12 click on apply once you apply you can see that this type of business formula is being created over here right so this is really cool to create the business rule the process is very simple it provides this type of user interface from components you just need to select your condition and your action that's all from here you can also take the snapshot and provide that uh, for the user uh, guide which you are creating for your application like if you click on snapshot what happen here is basically a screenshot for this particular uh, specific rule is being created for you so once you open up uh, it will provide you this type of screen capture for your business rule right so this is really cool now let's apply our business rule to the table or dataverse table or dataverse entity so first of all let's click on save you can see the validation successful is showing here so while you are saving it for the first time it is validating first and then save right and once you do that you need to activate your business rule so this is the very important step until and unless you are not activating your business rule it is not applicable for your dataverse form or dataverse view or dataverse entity so you must need to activate that so let's activate that and it is showing this processing progress bar over here and let it to be completed all right it is asking that do you want to activate the selected one process the action will attempt to activate the process you have selected and yes i want to activate that so let's click on activate and it is showing this nicer progress bar to you and here we are the business rule has been activated successfully now over here once the rule is activated you are able to see the deactivate option so if you want to deactivate this rule you can simply do it using deactivate button right and the scope of this thing is at entity 
level right now let's taste our business rule let me refresh the page and you can see the business rule that we just created and the status of the business rule is activated and the scope is at entity level now let's check the result so i'm just going to my form so i'm just going to the data section let me just add one new record over here now let me just provide the employee name and let me select some employee type from here so i am selecting full time employee so you can see at that time the number of leaves is 24 and when i am selecting contract my number of leaves is 12 so you can see the business rule is working absolutely perfect so isn't that amazing hope now you get a clear idea about what is business rule in model driven app if you have any question related to this business rule feel free to add your question in the comment section now in the next session we will be creating one model driven app and configuring our forms views this business rule everything into a one single package so stay tuned to my next session if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel I am uploading regular videos related Power BI, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams and SharePoint every day on my channel. So make sure that you hit subscribe to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any consultancy or training, here is a website. Click on that, go to the contact page of the website and send me your query. If you are interested to follow me on all my social media handles, here is a link to URL. Click on that. It will redirecting you to this page. From here, you can follow me on all my social media handles. If you are interested to never miss any updates from me, just follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. I recommend everyone to follow me on Instagram because it is the platform where I am uploading different posts, reels and IGTV and different short content related model driven app. So I recommend everyone to follow me on Instagram to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are interested to listen different audio podcasts related to Power Platform, here is a podcast channel. This is called as Power Platform Show. From here, you can listen your favorite Power Platform podcast on your favorite podcast platform like Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify and much more. If you are interested for different short content related power platform, here is a separate channel called Digital Dhruvin. Subscribe that channel and show your love as well over here. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.